is Alex, and today I am going to be unboxing my Frosty Vox Box from Influencer. This is the Frosty Vox Box. And it was funny because I got the December Vox Box last year, too. Because I remember we came home, we would had like five Christmases in 24 hours, and it was waiting all soggy for me because it had been raining. So let's see what is in the box. If Luna will get off the box. Sorry, sweetie. So we have the Eco Tools Full Volume Styler. And this is a round brush. And anybody who is in my dad's family can probably tell you that I have gotten a round brush stuck in my hair every time I have ever tried to use one. It's, it's never good. I mean, I've got, you know, curly hair. And I, I never learned how to use one properly. So I would just, like, wrap my hair around it and it would just get stuck. But this one is it's got hard bristles. I don't know if you can see there. Yeah, the hard bristles and the soft bristles, which I like because I can't use the ones with just soft bristles even though they're better for your hair, like, the sound of it drives me insane. Like, I, there are just some sounds that make me want to vomit. Uh, soft bristle brushes, my stepdad scratching his legs, when the cat is, like, pawing at her litter in the litter box to cover up the poop. But no, it, ugh. And we have Rimmel Gentle Eye Makeup Remover right here. Oh, gosh. Seriously, the lighting sucks. I'm excited about this, actually, because... This is pretty bad, but I haven't had eye makeup remover in years. Like, when I wear eye makeup, which doesn't happen very often, I am wearing some today because we went to a, like, a family Christmas party. I usually just leave it on when I go to bed, which is bad, I know, but I kind of like the way my eyeliner looks the next morning. Uh, but, yeah, this will be good to try. I, I like Rimmel products. I've used a lot of them. And, you know, hopefully this will be good. It says it even removes waterproof mascara, so... That's good. Red Vines, Fruit Vines, Bites, and Cherry. I am a big fan of licorice. Uh, I could eat those pull-apart Twizzlers, like, pull and peel. Pull and peel, that's what they called them, right? Um, like, all the time. And I would, like, drink milk and, like, cut the, bite the ends off licorice and use it as a straw. I even like black licorice, but um, I don't like the salty licorice. I took a semester of Dutch when I was in high school. Not in high school, in college. Because IU is one of 13 schools in the country that teaches Dutch. My teacher brought in a bunch of Dutch licorice for us to try one time. Because it's, like, huge over there. And they've got, you know, regular. And we had li licorice cats were the regular ones. Like, the black licorice. And they had, like, licorice coins that were, like, a different kind. And they smelled like feet. And then we had the zout, which is salty. And the double zout, which is double salty. And double zout licorice tastes like what I imagine licking a battery tastes like. Like, it is horrific. I would not wish that on my worst enemy. Um, but, you know, this is cherry, and I love cherry anything, so I'm sure this is going to be good. Candy Cane Lane Decaffeinated Green Tea from Celestial Seasonings. I, I love tea, and I love holiday tea. I haven't had, like, a, I'm assuming this is pepperminty, uh, but I haven't had, like, a, a green tea that's like that. McCormick Gourmet All Natural Thyme. Okay, first of all, Glass jar. I love spices in glass jars because normally I'm broke and I can only get the super cheap ones that aren't that good. So I'm excited to have this time. Yeah, I'm sure I can find something to do with it because I enjoy cooking and I enjoy seasonings and spices and things like that. So I'll, I'll let you know what I do with this. All right, and then I've got, oh, a sample of Boots Number no. 7 Protect and Perfect Advanced Serum. Well, as you might be able to tell, my skin is not like horrible like I don't really have wrinkles that my forehead is just like insane I don't know if it's from the PCOS or what but my my forehead skin is just horrific but I need to start using like some kind of like anti-aging cream or something because if I want to keep you know my fairly youthful skin I need to take care of it now because if I don't it's not gonna be useful when I'm not youthful anymore Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Col Cajal Eyeliner and this is in black. I love eyeliner. I generally use black eyeliner, even though I know, you know, brown's, like, more flattering or whatever. I only recently got brown eyeliner. Um, but I'm looking forward to this, because this is, like, the creamy kind of pencil, and that's what I really like. I'm looking forward to this. Last item is the NYC Expert Last Lip Color, and this is in Sugar Plum. This is not the first time I've gotten NYC Lip Color in a Vox box. And it's also not the first time that it's probably not going to be a good color on me. Um, I got like a really vibrant fuchsia last time and it just, it, 
does not fit with this paleness. But, you know, as horrible as the lighting is, I guess we can try to do a swatch. Oh, well, maybe not that bad, but probably not great. We'll see. So I am excited to try out all these products and let you know what I think. I'll probably be posting about them on my blog, which is burgalicious.blogspot.com. And as my cats attack each other, they do that a lot. And then I, you know, you'll be able to find out, you know, what I think about them. And I'll be Instagramming them about them, I'm sure. So, you know, if you've tried any of these products or if you got this Fox box, I'd love to hear what you think. So let me know down in the comments. And I will see you next time. Bye!